Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I will be talking about the Tuskegee Airmen. Now, I'm sure I don't have to explain that name to too many people, but just in case, the Tuskegee Airmen were the first all-African-American Air Force squadron back in World War II. Officially in the military, they were known as the 332nd Fighter Wing, but unofficially, they were called the Tuskegee Airmen because when they were trained, they were trained in the small town of Tuskegee, Alabama. Now, the movie Tuskegee Airmen was actually an HBO movie, not a full-blown, high-budget film, just one of those little documentaries that HBO made. The story centers around three of the most famous pilots in the 332nd. Hannibal Lee, who's played by the legendary Lawrence Fishburne, Walter Peoples, who's played by Alan Payne, and Leroy Camp, who's played by Malcolm Jamal Warner. But of course, we also have great acts such as Cuba Gooding Jr. and Courtney B. Vance. Sadly, there's not really much to say about this movie because it seems like it was shot at a pretty low budget. And sadly, the movie focuses too much on one subject. But I'll get into that later. Because in order to understand the story, you would have to understand the history of the Tuskegee Airmen. Now, as I already mentioned, they were the first all-African-American fighter group. When the 332nd Fighter Wing was created, they were labeled an experiment, which was only put into place because of Eleanor Roosevelt. But these brave men proved that they had what it took to fight for their country, regardless to what their country thought of them. They protected bombers during their missions in World War II. Because with the war being stretched out the way it was, it was difficult to get fighter escorts for B-17 bombers to go on their missions. It also didn't help that back in the early years when the B-17 Fortress was created, they thought that the bombers could take care of themselves without any fighter escort. But that was quickly proven to be wrong. And there's also been stories told that many of the fighter escorts would often just fly after planes that were buzzing by, seeking glory, instead of protecting the bombers that they were supposed to protect. The Tuskegee Airmen, on the other hand, stayed with the bombers. They protected them, and they never lost a bomber during any of their missions. Many of them became aces along the way. Because of this, it helped change many of the white man's minds. Because, as we all know, black people were seen as, well, dogs. I'm sorry to say that, but it is true. Now, that's just a little overview of their real-life story. And the movie does cover a good part of that real-life story. However, it covers only one side of that story. What is that one side? The racial issues. Now, there's no denying, that was a huge part of it. But that is where this movie falls short, because it focuses way too much on that. Let me give you a few examples. There's one scene where they're coming down to Tuskegee, and they have to move off the train to make room for German prisoners. And while they're saving many of the bombers' lives, pretty much every one of them in this movie refused to stop being racist towards them, even though they just saved their lives. And because of the low budget, you barely get two scenes where they're shooting down German planes, which is a key factor in their story. You cannot appreciate what great pilots they were if you do not see their exploits. And let's not forget, they were a fighter group. You cannot overlook that sort of thing. Sure, the movie was low budget, and I know they were trying to make a point about the racial issues back then, but that is a serious flaw in the story. You can't just focus on one side and call it a movie. To tell a story like this, you need to cover all sides. You need to cover the racial issues, certainly, but you have to cover their great acts of heroism as pilots. That is what made them famous, and that is what changed the minds of so many people. Except for the one-sided storyline, it's not a bad film. It's definitely worth watching, especially if you're interested in learning their story. It's a very good place to start. However, don't just take this movie at face value, because there were a lot of people who did change their minds about black people after this. Sure, there was going to be some who resisted, but there were so many who thought differently after this. So if you haven't seen this movie, you might want to look it up. It's actually pretty decent. But remember, this is only telling one side of the story. To hear the whole story, you need to do your research on them. And most importantly, you need to watch a movie called Red Tails, which I will be talking about soon. This is Movie Fan, signing off.